This is a remarkably well-engineered wireless ergonomic keyboard. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about keyboards. I have a MacBook Pro, and it has that straight, rectangular keyboard design, and it works pretty darn well. But the problem is that when we humans are using these keyboards, our wrists are like this, instead of having them be aligned with our arms, which are naturally coming into the center at angles. So, for many people, this is just how you've grown up. You've gotten used to this over the years. Your muscles have like figured out how to realign the tendons and your wrists are all good. No worries. But there are a number of people that suffer from things like repetitive stress injuries or RSI or carpal tunnel syndrome. And those relate to the tendons in your wrist. And again, when you have it at the wrong angle, it can really stress out your wrists and it can be quite painful. I have seen people in tears because it hurts so much for them to do that tiny movement of touching a key because their wrists are so inflamed from that motion. Enter ergonomic design. Now it turns out that a lot of how we work tends to be pretty unhealthy for us. We don't actually design our workspaces so that they are at optimal height, optimal distance, that we're sitting at the right angle, that our arms and our wrists are at the right positions and everything. So there's a field called ergonomics, and ergonomics is to do with how things are designed so that they work better with us humans. And that's what this is. This is an ergonomic keyboard. More specifically, this is the Matthias Sculpted Ergonomic Keyboard, and it is a remarkable piece of engineering. First off, you can see it's really thin. In fact, let me pop off this magnetic stand, which you can use to raise the front or not, but it's basically a really thin, flat keyboard that it's like <laughs> the Hulk has just said, let's make it wider and just bent it all into this weird shape. But now, look at the angles of my hands as I'm on this keyboard. And then there's this palm rest, so it's really easy to work with and has these super wide space bars so you can really just zip along. And yeah, you're gonna have to reprogram your brain a little bit if you're used to everything being just that rectangle, but having it just suddenly separate out once you get used to it, this is so much faster and easier to uh, type with. Very remarkable. Now, let's talk about some of the nuts and bolts here. So these are scissor switch keys with a two millimeter travel. Here's a close up so you can see it doesn't go down a lot, but honestly, this is at least as much as your laptop probably does. There are 10 different variations of this keyboard from Matthias, including this one, which is the US keyboard layout for Macintosh. So that means that, for example, here it has a command key and then an option key and then a control key. The PC or Windows version is gonna have a Windows key, but they also have language variations too. So they have US, UK, French, German, and Nordic language keyboards. So whatever you prefer to work in, they're gonna have a keyboard for you. And of course, what they're really doing here is they're really replacing some beloved keyboards from days gone past. So there used to be something called the Microsoft Ergonomic Keyboard. People loved that. And then that became the Microsoft Sculpt Keyboard. And then they even had the Natural Ergonomic 4000 Keyboard. All of these were just super popular, especially in corporate and IT. And then Microsoft apparently just said, eh, we don't wanna make them anymore. So they went away. So what they did at Matthias is they said, let's take that keyboard design as our starting point, but let's make some tweaks and changes to actually improve on it. So this one has a thicker palm rest, so that's nice. And it is rechargeable, so it's running off of batteries, and it has a three year battery life. And when you are ready to charge it, there's USB-C here, and it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, which can double as it being a wired keyboard. So if you don't want to fuss with wireless at all, 
you can just plug it in and plug it into whatever device you want and just immediately start typing. It's a keyboard, no drivers, no special anything. But where this gets really remarkable is they also have wireless receivers. So that's the USB-A wireless receiver. You can see it's pretty darn tiny. But where they really get bonus points is this USB-C, what they call their nano receiver. This is patent pending. And it is so small that when I plug it into my MacBook Pro, it is so flush that I can just leave it in there all the time, assuming I can plug it in at all. Hold on. It's, it goes in. It's just, there we go. It was just an odd angle. But you can see it is so streamlined that you just leave it in and don't even think about it. And then this you can turn on and off with the button right here in the middle. And that's it. It's literally and immediately ready to go as soon as you plug those in. And here's what's really cool. Using this wirelessly with either of the two receivers, it's also using 128-bit AES-128 encryption. So the information from the keyboard to this device and onto your computer is encrypted. And that's true across all their different variations. So this means if the, one of the things that corporate IT says, or if you're in government work, they say, oh, you can't use wireless keyboards because someone might sniff that data packet. Well, that would be bad, but this is all encrypted, so that's all safe. Really cool. And there's even programmable keys. You can actually program these keys with these rather complicated sequences, so you don't need an app or anything, but you can remap some of the things if you really want them to do something different. And it's, again, a really amazing piece of engineering. Now, dimensions-wise, it is 15.3 inches by 9 inches by about 2 inches raised off the surface of the table. And it's 1.5 pounds. It's really super light. And as you saw at the beginning, it does have a stand that is just with magnets. Easy as that. And when you put that on, then you're going to change the angle of the keyboard again. I actually prefer having it without that. but. You know, if you're doing this because you're trying to get your wrists to feel good and you're trying to not be all stressed out, and by the way, your shoulders also, you want to loosen those up if you're spending a lot of time typing. But this is super comfortable. And if I just open up my computer and unlock it, then I'm ready to go. So you can't see what I'm typing, but you can hear and it's really comfortable. Now, I have to admit, I'm so used to those rectangular keyboards that the ergonomic design is going to take me a little bit of getting used to, but this is a really sweet keyboard. And the more you spend time typing, the more something like this is going to be a huge win. So that's what I got. Here's a close-up of the keyboard layout so you can sort of see how everything's laid out. It's a beautiful keyboard. If you're looking for a different way to type and a different kind of keyboard, this might be a solid option. Now, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you found this of value. Excellent. This is the Matthias Sculpted Ergonomic Keyboard in 10 different variations. This is US Mac FK413D. <laughs> it comes out in May of 2025. I'm a little ahead of the game here. And it's $99 at Matthias.store. This is a winner. If you're looking for a better keyboard or you're just noticing that your wrists and hands and sh even your arms and shoulders are just achy after a couple of hours at the computer keyboard, this will change all of that. And better to do it when it's just a little twinge than when it's something where you feel like you got to go to the doctor. So that's what I got. I hope this was of value and I hope to catch you in my next video.